Jolyn, Joey, Bob, and Bill for your rendition of Fats Waller's Ain't Misbehaving. And now here's Bob with a very important message. Bob? Well, as the fellow says, there's a time for everything. And folks, the season that lies just ahead of us is a sure time for parties. From Easter all the way through the 4th of July. And all of them mean good things to eat, too. Swell dishes, like Jell-O butterscotch pudding. You know, just about everyone is making Jell-O butterscotch pudding a part of the party these days. A real guest of honor. And no wonder. This grand golden dessert has a truly festive flavor that fits in with all kinds of fun and feasting. It has all the gay appearance of a party dish, too. Especially when served with snowy whipped cream, dark delicious dates, or maybe a sprinkling of shredded coconut. But the big thing is a marvelous mellow taste. That wonderful buttery brown sugar flavor that everyone loves. So keep Jell-O butterscotch pudding handy for all party occasions, along with those other two tempting desserts. Smooth, delicate Jell-O vanilla and rich, glossy Jell-O chocolate puddings. Then you'll know why these new Jell-O puddings are the dessert America's talking about. <laughs>
I know this enchantment can be Cause it happened one evening to me A certain night, the night we met There was magic abroad in the air There were angels dying at the
formal way of communicating an auxiliary to enable the children of servicemen. Now, when I heard that Universal was combining its two favorite series characters, the Wolfman and Frankenstein, in a chiller opus titled Wolfman Meets Frankenstein, I could hardly keep my mind on the news. Oh, what a combination. Oh, a very hairy man driven by animal passion and lust, struggling against a monster of enormous size and stamina. <laughs> It'll be back to me, huh? Changing the title of the new still during Paul Pope and Bean Crosby. During early screening surveys, 10% of the men in the audience thought the name of the film was deceptive and felt cheated. So the boys' film, The Road to Uranus, will come out with a new title. <laughs> I'll be back in just one minute, fishing the dirt on the Hollywood social scene. But first, here's Bob with an important message for all of us ladies. <laughs> when you read a romantic love story, doesn't it make you dream of such happiness for yourself? Of strong arms holding you close and warm, thrilling kisses? Of course, and you can help make those dreams come true. Keep yourself just as attractive and appealing and as feminine as you know how. For one thing, make good use of pine, honey, and almond cream. <laughs> this fine, fragrant lotion helps keep your hands looking smooth, smelling fragrant, and feeling thrilling to a man's touch. And don't forget, now is the time for all women to buy Heinz. Why? Because it's on special sale. You get the big dollar size for only 49 cents, less than half price. Just walk up to a toilet goods counter, put down 49 cents, and you get the dollar size of Heinz Honey and Almond Cream, the biggest hand lotion special of 1944. It contains over twice as much lotion as a regular 50 cent bottle. And this is the same fine Heinz honey and almond cream you've always known. Extra creamy, extra softening. Ask for Heinz 49 cent special tonight. It's an autograph special too, with a detachable Gracie Allen autograph on the bottle. <laughs> Remember, this offer is good for a limited time only. The price is less than half. Only 49 cents for the big dollar size of Heinz honey and almond cream. Thank you, Bob and Michael. I don't know about you, but there's nothing I like better than Heinz on my face. And now with some news around Tinseltown. Betty Grable, Ann Miller, and eight other Hollywood beauties stacked it up at the Hollywood canteen last Saturday night. And I must say, it's a wonderful thing, too, how women are just dealing with this men shortage nowadays. I mean, Becky Grable, Ann Miller, I saw Freda Garbo, and I was, you know, just dancing cheek to cheek for hours. <laughs> I figure Charlotte's like them can get along with us without men folk more than we can, too. <laughs> George Hugo was given a farewell luncheon by a of his favorite girlfriends just before he went into the army. Joan Crawford, among his guests, gifted him with a beautiful gold identification bracelet. Becky Davis, who always has a word about Jones, said the braces was engraved, inspected for taste and content. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> I think Becky's full of hogwash. Joan Crawford is the most generous and wonderful person I've ever met. Why, just recently, she made a humongous donation to the Army Sofa Scrap Metal Drive by donating hundreds upon hundreds of wire hangers. <laughs> <laughs> and now a personal note to Barbara Stanwyck. I thank you for the gifts and for that little invitation, but sorry, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for today, listeners. I will be back with more of the insights from here in Tinsel Town. This is Ophelia yourself, and as my sister Tatcha always says, we'll win over there just as soon as we can. Yanking out in the States, Europe, and in Japan. Bye, big and bye, war bonds. Ta-ta! <laughs> He'll probably answer in a trio. Patty, Maxine, and Laverne. And we agree with Mr. D. And we sent our tribute to the Andrew Sister.